This is the Jackson Hole Airport with the airport code JAC Travel Guide. Did you know that Jackson Hole Airport is the only commercial airport located in a U.S. national park? This small domestic airport is located at the base of the Teton Mountain Range within Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. This airport is a gateway to Grand Teton, Yellowstone National Parks, and the city of Jackson Hole. This Jackson Hole Airport Travel Guide provides helpful information for passengers arriving at Jackson Hole Airport in Wyoming. Like this video and write a comment. We really want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This episode is Jackson Hole Airport in the city of Jackson in the state of Wyoming with the airport code JAC for arriving passengers. We flew on a direct flight two hours from Seattle to Jackson Hole Airport on a gorgeous clear summer day. As we got close to landing, we could see the towering peaks of the Teton Mountains. Because the airport's runway's elevation is 6,451 feet and surrounded by large mountains, this mountain airport is subject to frequently changing weather, which means a little bit of turbulence. Jackson Hole Airport is located at 1250 East Airport Road at the southern end of the Grand Teton National Park. All current direct flight routes are domestic flights in the United States, but it's rapidly adding flights and carriers, so that can change any time since JAC, although a compact airport, is busy due to its proximity to Grand Teton and Yellowstone National Parks, the city of Jackson, and the many outdoor activities that are available here. It was so amazing landing at Jackson Hole Airport in the midst of the Grand Teton Mountain Range, just breathtaking. Here's a little bit of Jackson Hole Airport trivia. Did you know that you cannot stay overnight at the airport? The airport closes at 11 p.m. and opens at 4 a.m. because Jackson Hole Airport is located inside Grand Teton National Park and overnight stays are not allowed because it's considered camping in an undesignated area by the National Park Service. Once we landed at the airport, we saw many private planes. This airport in particular is known for its private jets for the rich and famous. Once the plane parked, it was time to exit the plane by an outside ramp. Jackson Hole Airport is currently one large, one-story building with plans for expansion in the future. And once you get off the ramp, you can't miss it. We made our way down from the ramp and walked into the main terminal building. As we made our way down to the doors of the main terminal building, we could see a large JH sign, like an iron brand on the wall, and a large elk antler arch to greet us. The antler area is a very popular spot for photos, so a lot of people like to stop, so you may have to wait a little bit to get into the building. Once you enter into the building, you arrive at the arrival hall next to baggage claim. You will find the restrooms and an information kiosk located in the baggage claim area. Need bear spray? Passengers can rent bear spray at the rental kiosk located on the south side of Carousel 3 in baggage claim area. Rent a can of bear spray for your trip and return it before you leave. You'll also find an information booth at the end of the baggage claim area. Once we picked up our bags, we walked to the end of the terminal to the rental car counter to pick up our rental car. 
Alamo National Avis Budget and Enterprise are located in the airport terminal. Dollar, Thrifty, and Hertz are located off the airport in the town of Jackson. Dollar, Thrifty, and Hertz offer complimentary shuttles. Just exit the terminal and cross the street to the center ground transportation island. The rental car shuttles are located in the north end of the island and marked with a brown sign labeled rental car shuttles. If you have time, take a look around Jackson Hole Airport. There is an extensive public art collection and the terminal won an award from the American Institute of Architects. Once we exited the terminal, we crossed the crosswalk to the center ground transportation island. Hey, we found out that if you want to go to Salt Lake City from the airport by bus, you can take the Salt Lake City Express bus. For more information or to make an advance reservation, check out their website. Uber, Lyft, and other rideshare apps pick up on the north end or most left side of the ground transportation island. A little bit up from the rideshare app pickup area are the taxi pickup area. For a small airport, there seems to be a lot of taxis here that pick up. The next pickup area is Taxi Pool. Taxi Pool is a ride sharing program in an effort to decrease the amount of traffic at the airport. Passengers who use Taxi Pool get a $10 discount on each posted fare for their destinations. Riders interested in using Taxi Pool should meet at the information desk located across from baggage claim carousel number two in the baggage claim area. At the very south end of the ground transportation island is the pickup area for shuttles. Various hotels in the area offer complimentary shuttle service to and from the airport. Check with your hotel for details or reservations. There are also a plethora of companies which offer executive or limousine services from Jackson Hole Airport. Please check on the Jackson Hole Airport website under Transportation for the names, numbers, and websites. The Craig Thomas Discovery and Visitor Center in the Grand Teton National Park is five miles north of Jackson Hole Airport. If you want more adventure, then travel north 50 miles to Yellowstone National Park from Jackson Hole Airport. The town of Jackson is just located nine miles away, as well as many ranches and headquarters for outfitting hunters and fishermen. Good to know before you go, Jackson Hole refers to the entire valley area, including the town of Jackson, Teton Village, Wilson, the Aspens, Moran Junction, Moose, and surrounding areas. Jackson is the name of the main town located in the southern end of Jackson Hole, which is sometimes interchangeably called Jackson Hole. We drove the posted speed limit in the hopes of seeing wildlife and just enjoyed the beautiful surroundings as we drove away on the wide road from Jackson Hole Airport into the Equality State. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.